After I announced that I am building an Adobe Audition course, this was the most asked question. You may already know that I have a popular YouTube channel on Audacity. The answer is not a simple yes or no. There are many different parameters that you need to take into consideration. If you are into professional voiceover, or audio editing is an important part of your work process, you have to eventually move to paid software. Let me explain why this is so. As a professional, you will look for software stability and smoother workflow. The Audacity interface changes from time to time with new version updates. It can be annoying if you see one of your most used buttons is missing or moved to a new location. Adobe Audition is a professional software, and its interface has been consistent over the years. Audacity crashes sometimes, especially when a new major version comes out. For example, when Audacity changed its project file format from op to op3, some people complained their old project was not working. It can be frustrating if you are in the middle of something important. When Audacity released version 3 for the first time, it was not working properly with M1-based Mac. Audacity later released a new version for Apple Silicon. These things may not be important if you are just learning the stuff. But it can be very crucial if you are producing professional work. So that was basically the user experience with the software. But if you think of audio quality, then it is very subtle. The noise reduction in Adobe Audition works much better than Audacity. For example, if you need a 12 dB reduction in hissing noise, you can't do it in Audacity. That will ruin the voice quality to be used in professional voiceover or audiobook work. But with Audition, it is possible to get such noise reduction without affecting the audio quality much. However, if you really think about the best noise reduction tool currently out there, Audition is not the best. Waves Clarity VX is the best currently on white noise reduction. I will include a demo video in this course on how Clarity VX works with Audition. Third-party plugins like Waves or Isotop RX work smoothly with Adobe Audition. They may work with Audacity or may not. Because those software providers do not include support for Audacity. Sometimes those third-party software works and sometimes not with Audacity. You will not have such a problem with Audition. Because they include support for Adobe Audition. If you think about other effects like mouth click removal, Audition works slightly better than Audacity. The built-in click removal in Audacity is not good. It degrades audio quality too much. The third-party free declicker works with Audacity but not as well as the Audition declicker effect. There are tons of small things that Audition works better than Audacity. However, it is difficult to commit to such an annual subscription before getting a feel of it. I suggest you use the free trial to get familiar with Adobe Audition. If you practice for a couple of hours in these seven days, you will have a great idea about the software. You can decide then if this software is a great fit for you or not. It is also not necessary that you have to enroll in my course to do that. You can watch free tutorials on YouTube and try them. Taking my course will make the process faster and more efficient. You will also know exactly what you need to do for professional quality voice work. It's up to you if you want to get into the faster and more efficient road or not.